I have so many artists write to ask how to use this thing that I have a copy and paste answer. And I can see how the confusion arises. But when you understand how it works, it's not that difficult to use. First, clutch pencils, which you might know as lead holders, require different points depending on what they're about to be used for. So, the tub is set up to cater for the sharp point needed for drawing, or the blunter point preferred for writing. And that's where these two small holes feature. The triangular symbols next to them indicate the two kinds of points. The sharp point on the left is suitable for drawing. The normal, slightly blunt point on the right is for writing. These holes are used to precisely set the length of lead required for either point. Simply place your pencil over the appropriate hole. Depress the push button on the top to allow the lead to drop into it. And then lower the pencil and close the clutch. You now have the correct length of lead to form the desired point. As I said, knowing how it works will help you to use it effectively. So pull off the top and inside you'll see the static grinding wheel. That wheel doesn't move. Instead, the lead rotates around it as it wears itself to a point. To use your lead pointer, hold the tub in your left hand if you're right-handed, place the pencil with the preset length of lead into the pointer's main hole, and make sure it's all the way in. Now, gently, Use the pencil to turn the lid in a clockwise direction. Do not push down on the pencil. Just gently feed the lead in as you turn. Applying force will often cause the lead to break. Just let the weight of the pencil take itself down into the hole as you turn the pointer. At most it needs gentle pressure. There are brands of clutch pencil that won't fit this lead pointer but I use it for both Stettler and Faber-Castell. As long as the barrel of your pencil isn't thicker than the Stettler, it should be okay. Keep turning until the resistance wears off. You'll feel the grinding stop and the top will rotate more freely. And finally, I give a couple of reverse turns to polish the point. And the lead is now sharply pointed. Any graphite dust on the point can be removed by gently twisting it into the fibre insert. Although I prefer a bigger target and just poke it into a ball of blue tack. Periodically, empty the tub by pulling the lid up and off. If you like to use powdered graphite in your drawings, save the contents for later use. I'm not suggesting you do that, and I'd make certain there aren't any broken points in there, but it should be usable as a powder. Finally, if you're using a Stettler 780 clutch pencil out on location and you forgot to take your tub sharpener with you, don't worry. The good folk at Stettler have provided one in the pencil. See that hole in the top? Pull off the chrome cap, push your lead into it and then twist the cap in a clockwise direction to sharpen your lead. It's messy and the point won't be as long as the one you get from your tub sharpener, but it will be sharp. So, that's how to use the 520 tub sharpener. And the most important part is, don't force the lead down into the tub. Feed it in gently as you turn the top. For more helpful drawing tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel. And explore all the videos with me at drawwithmike.net. Mm -hmm.